Hello everybody, welcome back to another Hondo P Games Hype Hideout. Today we are taking a look at the newly released Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order official story reveal trailer. It's a mouthful, but it's there. Uh, this was just dropped, um, I'm reacting to it a little late, it was dropped yesterday. This is the new, brand new Star Wars game from Respawn Entertainment. Uh, Respawn Entertainment is obviously the people behind Titanfall and the incredibly popular Apex Legends. This game is a standalone game. It's single player only, I believe. Uh, story focused. Let's actually, I'm going to read the description here because um, I don't know. We, we really didn't know much about it. They put out some concept art uh, a couple days ago, which showed like, uh, I believe it was a young girl. I think it was a Jedi that kind of looked like Rey, but anyways, it's obviously not Rey, but um, standing in sort of like a misty background with a lightsaber. It's just like ge general Star Wars stuff. Doesn't really tell us anything. So for the description of this trailer, we've got Cal Kestis, one of the last surviving members of the Jedi Order, after the purge of Order 66, is now a Padawan on the run. Experience this all-new single-player Star Wars story from Respawn Entertainment. Uh, yada, 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 coming out on everything this holiday. All right, let's... <laughs> Let's check out this trailer. Wasn't always like this. But now, there are three rules to survive. Don't stand out. Visually, it's nice. Trust. No one. The galaxy's changed. It's... It's like a Sarlacc. This is so interesting. We've never seen really, like really, a, a single player Star Wars game like of this level and a narrative execution, I would say. Oh, cool. That almost... That almost looked like combat for a second. <laughs> cool. Trust only in the force. Uh, okay, so immediately one thing I'm gonna say right off the bat. I don't give one ounce of a damn about the main character. Uh, he looks extremely generic. His personality comes off as blase. Uh, yeah, he does absolutely nothing for me in this trailer. But that is not to say that the game does itself doesn't look interesting. So let's roll it back real quick. I'm going to turn the volume down and I'm going to slow the video down. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I didn't have much to say during because, I don't know. They don't give us a lot to go off of. Like, he finds there's obviously a uh, Republic sort of tomb thing. It says that he's one of the last surviving members of the Jedi Order, uh, is now a Padawan on the run. So, I mean, it is a standalone, but it does kind of feed into the overall Star Wars narrative. So, showing stuff like this is really cool. So, like, we've never seen any any Star Wars anything, really, on, on this sort of level of realization. Uh, so, like, just having a, an alien character uh, like your buddy there and just having genuine interactions with them is something you would get in, like, KOTOR. 
but obviously KOTOR has never looked like this <laughs> and probably won't ever look like this because we're not going to get another one. Uh, the closest thing you could m compare this to is like, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh my god. Star Destroyer, uh, Lightning Boy, he's got the, you know, oh my god, what is that game called? You know the one, the action Star Wars game, Jesus Christ, why can't, it's gonna bug me, oh my god, hold on, Star Wars, Star Destroyer, where is he from? No, it's not Star Destroyer, it's something destroy, oh my god, I don't care, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let me know what the heck game is slipping my mind right now in the chats. It's going to drive me insane. Um, anyways, where you play is Darth Vader's Apprentice. But that's the closest thing we've had to like a single player Star Wars game that's on this level. So this is cool. So I like that he's on the run. I like that they're showing off like bounty hunter Sith vibes. Like he, he was he was sitting in the cafe and he was kind of having to watch his back. Like, let's go back here. So, like, this is interesting. I want to have interactions with characters in these kind of locales. And, like, we, we don't know how the game is going to play. But hopefully there's some stealth stuff. Uh, I just want to be, like, on the run from the Sith. I think that's a cool idea. Um, to be afraid of a stormtrooper, I feel like, is something that is very rare in a Star Wars game. And if they can pull off... Just the the idea that the Empire is dangerous and they are not someone they're not they're not people you want to run into. You cannot have a chance. You don't want to have a chance encounter with them when they show ask you for your ID or whatever like that should be nerve wracking. So the fact that he's on the run through the city is kind of cool. Um, yeah, so you've got. F fighting some Empire grunts. This is a cool, like, reference. The stun stick stuff that they had in the new movies. Um, we've got some glimpses of another character, but no idea. I actually don't think... It's it's weird. They tried to, like... Oh, never mind. Okay, so yeah, jumping for the, the, the gunship. And then we've got this... This is the, the bounty hunter. This, the Empire Sith bounty hunter character. Uh... Hopefully, I'm assuming they're going to be like the main baddie. Interesting. I'm so curious to see what the gameplay is going to be like. Unfortunately, like it may change. Maybe, maybe the main character does get more interesting the more they show. But I don't think this trailer was good at selling him. I feel like it's very focused on, on him and they did a poor job of selling him. Uh, Cal Kestis is his name. Uh, I just don't care about Cal. Um, and after a two minute and 30 trailer, I don't know. It's just the way that he's, he's talking. Just, it's so, it's very stereotypical. Just, uh, I've, uh, I've been, I'm on the run. Oh, things are hard. Oh, like, uh. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we get it, <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. You have to have something more than that. Um, but I'm sure they, we, we will get more from them. At least I hope, because if, if his backstory is the fact that he's the last surviving member of the Jedi order, then they could get into some really cool and, and interesting stuff, stuff that happened to him in the past when they were wiped out. Uh, his, his motivations for doing whatever he's doing in this game um, or whatever he, he learns that he needs to do, uh, could be interesting. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, there's not, there's not enough to go on to this trailer. I think we got to wait for more and I'm sure we're going to get more at E3. There's going to be a huge gameplay reveal and everything. So yeah, that's gotta be it. So if you like the reaction, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see other reactions like it, you can follow the channel, head on over there. There's a bunch of stuff. We just put up uh, reactions for Rage 2 and Mortal Kombat 11 Katana trailer, which I thought was very good. Um, and uh, something else, something else, something else. Shakedown Hawaii, uh, a cool little indie retro GTA game. Um, but yeah, thanks everybody for watching, and I will catch you next time. Peace.